welcome to this new video. So as you can tell I haven't uploaded in a very long time. That's not really my fault, it's obviously not your fault, but um, the reason is I've been on lots of holidays, I've um, kind of just had a rest after GCSEs as it was a really stressful, hard working period. Um, so I just wanted to take a break from pretty much everything, spend time with friends, obviously go on holiday. Um, and for the last couple of weeks I have been on holiday with pretty much no rest and I have had work uh, in between the holidays. So therefore I have had no time to upload and put effort into YouTube. But now I have no holidays planned um, until my goalkeeper residential, which is just a training camp for goalkeepers basically, which is a week long. So that is in August sometime, I'm not too sure when, but other than that I have nothing planned. Obviously I, I'm meeting up with friends and um, stuff like that, but I will be uh, uploading a lot more videos throughout the rest of the summer. So, um, what I'm going to talk to you today is obviously, uh, depending on where you live, if you're in the UK, we have been experiencing really nice hot weather. So, um, the ground's rock solid, the grass is dry, and conditions for a goalkeeper aren't the best, as the ground's really hard, uh, studs don't dig into the ground, so you don't have much traction. But in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can uh, still dive, still train, and still kind of get over the fear of diving on rock hard ground. As uh, obviously it is physical because the ground's hard and it will hurt, but also it's mental. As uh, if you're wearing the right stuff, if you have the right technique, it shouldn't hurt no matter what you dive on. Obviously, that is an exaggeration. As if you do dive on something hard like the ground or concrete, it will hurt. But this uh, way, these are ways that you can kind of make the pain a bit less and not hurt yourself while training. And also different training methods which you can use to. Um, so that you are still able to train when the ground's hard and uh, you can also use this method indoors if you haven't got an outside pitch or facilities outside we do have um, somewhere to train inside the, you could use these methods inside as well as outside so number one um, so the first method you could use to stop yourself from getting hurt whilst diving on a uh, hard ground is buying this thing called a crash mat. Uh, there are obviously tons of different names for it, but that's what I've always been told what it's called. So basically what it is, is it's like a mattress, which hasn't got springs and it's just foam inside. And it's usually, it comes in all different thicknesses, but you can pick them up on eBay, Amazon for, for around £40. So you can get a good quality, um, nice thick one for about £40. And that will, enable, that will enable you to dive outside, dive when the ground's really hard, but also um, practice your technique. As if you're a young keeper or any age keeper really, um, your technique is all that matters. And if you use a crash mat on the floor, you kind of know that you won't get hurt. So therefore you don't need to concentrate on the landing, you just concentrate on how you catch the ball, how you step into it, how you kind of, also how you land. So you could do that without the fear of actually getting hurt when you do land. So um, that is the first method I recommend, is picking up a crash mat. Um, when I did this training session ages ago, uh, a couple summers back, um, the coach obviously recognised that the ground was really hard and didn't want me getting injured by diving on a, a hard ground. So what he did is he bought um, this crash mat which he put on the floor and then he just threw the ball, kicked the ball, whatever, and instead of diving on the floor I dived onto that. So it made it a lot easier to concentrate, getting your hands behind the ball, body behind the ball, getting a nice good leap and good reactions without the fear and the mental barrier of not wanting to dive on the hard floor as you know you're not going to get hurt as you're landing on a nice thick mat. So method number two is actually wearing protection on your body. So um, obviously method one was protection on the floor. Method two is wearing protective pads on yourself. So um, obviously you wouldn't buy a thermal but this is a thermal that has integrated uh, pads in. So um, I wouldn't recommend getting a thermal one, obviously, as it's summer and you will overheat if you wear a thermal outside. But you can get thinner ones, which are in my drawer over there, which is kind of like a meshy material. I think Adidas do one. It's like a meshy material with um, really thick pads on the shoulders, elbows, and also like on the ribs down here. So it kind of gets rid of that mental block of you not wanting to dive on the floor. And they are quite cheap. Um, you could probably get th uh, the Adidas top that I have for I think about £30 and then also you can get the um, padded shorts which I have shown you in a previous video um, which I definitely recommend, they're perfect, they fit really nice, they're not too bulky 
yeah, they provide lots of protection whilst diving on the floor. And I use those pretty much every training session as it's a lot easier for my mind and physically to dive on the floor. Um, that's why I am still training when the ground's hard as the pads kind of take the uh, shock out of landing. So I definitely recommend picking up some of those. I will leave, I'll try and leave a link down below if I can find it. If not, just search Golki Protective Clothing and it will come up. So if you're in pre-season training and the ground is rock solid but you don't want to um, practice a high diving saves as it will hurt when you land, we can do is just start on your knees So, um, but still practice a dive. So practice stepping into it with your knee. So when you're on the knees, put one knee forward and then push off that knee and then catch the ball, parry the ball, whatever. And that just reduces the height that you're falling from as you're still connected to the floor, you're still on the floor but you're still getting the practice of diving in. So that is a great way that co many coaches use in pre-season as it uh, replicates the um, action of diving and the technique of diving yet yeah, it reduces the distance that you are off the floor. So I definitely recommend that one and you can do that on your own. If you have a crazy catch like I do as you've seen in the videos, you can start on your knees, throw it off that and then catch it. So you can use it if you're doing solo training or if you're doing team training with your coach or a friend. Uh, you can just start on your knees and dive like that. So in conclusion, I definitely recommend the um, padded clothing which you can buy off pretty much every goalkeeper website. I'll try and link some down below. And also the um, pre-season training where you start on the knees and dive like that. As you're still practicing technique, yet it doesn't hurt as much when you land as you aren't diving that high. So uh, let me know what you guys do to um, in pre-season training. I know I haven't actually started goalkeeper training yet. I'm just doing fitness training and ball work just to get back into the rhythm of football, as uh, that's what most clubs are doing. But then I think next week we're starting goalkeeper training to get my hands warm, to get used to the reactions and just improve myself as a goalkeeper. So let me know what you do to reduce the pain of diving on hard ground. And uh, if you need any help, just comment down below and I'll be sure to uh, reply. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.